All right, we have the new RZ mask with the blue closed exhalation filters, preventing any dust or dirt or expectorant to come through. We've replaced the internal filter with the new high flow electrostatic filter, the F2. Knock on wood, this is not backwards as it appears on my screen. Folks have asked me to do an exhalation test. I don't have an interferometer. I don't have bright lights. I don't have lasers. All I got is a Note 9, a vape, and a mask. Vape particles, they're pretty small. So what we're going to do, take a great big hoff of the vape, lock the mask in place, then excel, and see how much comes around to cheeks, the beard, etc., up into the glasses versus how much pushes out through the mask. All right. So there you go. Looks like I got a touch of leakage on the left side. So I'm going to pull that over a little bit. Beard damage, I presume. One more shot, just for shits and grins. Still just a bit of leakage off the left side. Granted, this is a vape. Very, very small particulate size. It's essentially propylene glycol and water vapor heated to 200 and change degrees, delivering nicotine to me, keeping me from having a bad day. The RZ mask with the no exit filters and a high flow electrostatic filter provides a fairly significant improvement in stopping expectorate, airborne droplets, and helping to keep COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 from entering the environment. I'll be wearing this every time I go out of the house. Will England, given a test of the RZ mask via vape with the non or sealed exhalation ports. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more tech tests, random environmental videos, and all kinds of cool stuff. You can always find me by Googling WXEXW on the internet. You'll come up with my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, my blog, and so on. Have a great day, and stay safe.